so briefly. Um, I understand, I've read a report that you've now been asked to help out with the Lunar Land Award. Is that true? You're now part of the Lunar Land Award? Well, help out. I think it's important, you know, while there's several of us who have been there, who, who, have, who have successfully been there and come back, but also made a lot of mistakes along the way, both in the design of the spacecraft and the development of operations, are still here today. And what NASA has wisely done is called upon us to give them some of our impressions and talk to some of these young engineers. You know, the world of technology, the technology of Apollo, has long since been forgotten and obsolete. But we represent some of that technology and in some cases going back to the moon is not going to be a lot different than what we did 30 and 40 years ago. So so uh, we've been asked to come back and give our opinions. Some of them are good opinions, some are bad. Uh, but uh, And then some of these young, really smart engineers with this new technology can build on, on what we did and hopefully not do some of the dumb things that we did. And we did make a few mistakes along the way. Uh, well, we were the first one to take the lunar module to the moon, Apollo 10, and uh, we did take we did everything on that mission but land. I I like to tell my friend Neil Armstrong that I I painted that white line in the sky to the moon so he wouldn't get lost, and I let him go the last 47,000 feet. But that that was a truly a lunar a, a test of the lunar module because if we had found some problems, Apollo 11 probably would not have landed. It would have slipped another flight. And these smart young engineers, have they told you what sort of technologies they want to use on the new lunar lander? Well, they've got some ideas. Uh, quite honestly, some are very good because they can apply some of the new tech. Not, you know, new technology. You've got a, in, a, in the palm of your hand with one of these Blackberries. You got more technology than I had to go to the moon. It, it's crazy. Cra it's crazy. But they can employ that technology on the design of the spacecraft themselves and on the operational techniques that we want to use. Now, I will say this: some of them have got some crazy, in, in, in fact, dumb ideas because we've been there, done that kind of thing, and it doesn't work, no matter what kind of technology you got. So that's what we're trying to do is prevent reinventing a wheel. You know, it's been four decades. Some of these young engineers weren't even born when I made the final steps on the moon, and they all got good ideas, but, but you have to temper the enthusiasm of youth with the wisdom of maturity.